Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video, I want to manipulate the six box layout so that it is responsive, mobile friendly. Okay, so this was actually a, uh, this is going to be a solution video for a portion of a recent web development assignment that students had in uh, their responsive assignment. I think it was part two. And basically this was the layout of a recent midterm exam page. Obviously there's no content here, but this is the structural layout of it. We had two boxes across the top, three boxes in the middle, and then a large footer at the bottom. What I want to have happen is on mobile, I want the two boxes across the top, and then I want those three boxes in the middle, then switch over into a vertical orientation, no change with the bottom box. So it's a relatively simple structure, uh, assuming we set up our HTML in a simple and logical way. So let's go ahead and tackle that. I'm going to jump over to my HTML and set up the structure. The most common mistake I think I've seen students make is just trying to adapt their old midterm exam page, where sometimes it's even easier just to start from a blank slate, which is what I'm doing here. I'm going to go ahead and create a div with class equals top container. And within that div, I'm going to have a div with a class equals inner box. There we go. Alt shift down here to duplicate that. I'm going to copy, paste, copy, paste. Alt shift down here to duplicate that. And I can get rid of one down here at the bottom. And so I have my top container. And I'm going to have a middle container. And I'm going to have a bottom container. Now, technically, I really don't need this bottom container because I'm not, you know, it's just one box. I'm not changing it, but I'm going to use this uh, consistent styling so that we get used to using Flexbox in a responsive way. Otherwise, everything is pretty straightforward. I'm not focused on content. There's no images and hyperlinks and paragraphs and things like that. It's just the structure of the web page. Now that I've got that HTML structure, I can work on the styling. Now, to make my life a little easier, I can use a group selector for top container, middle container, and bottom container. All of these blocks are going to be um, display flex. And I'm also going to go ahead and do a flex flow of row wrap. Once again, I'm not really going to need this for, in fact, even the top or the bottom, but I just want to get used to this particular syntax and start to use these particular properties often. Okay, so my top container, middle container, bottom container are all going to have those same characteristics. In fact, I'm going to say all of my inner boxes will also have some similar characteristics. Min height to be 33.33 VHs or viewport heights. I'm going to do that. I'm going to give them all the same border five pixels, solid, and a dark gray. Now the other thing I can do with these is I can give them all the same flex grow of one, which is going to help them expand and fill up the space that I indicate for them. I'm also going to give them a flex shrink of zero, which really isn't going to do too much for me, but I'm going to put that in as simply a foundational declaration. Now for the real stuff. My top container inner box. So those are going to have a flex basis of 50% because I want them to fill up the screen, each of them taking up half the screen. So flex basis of 50%. I'm going to copy that. My middle container, they're going to have a flex basis of 33%. It's fine that I'm not putting in 33.33 because the flex grow of one is going to help them accommodate um, and stretch to fill up that space completely. And then my bottom container, remember there's only one inner child, inner box in there. That'll have a flex basis of 100%. Now just making those changes, save and browser and refresh, and we're going to get that particular layout. So two boxes taking up 50, three boxes taking up a third, and then one box taking up 100%. So now that we've got that structure, I just want to rig it so that for narrow devices, these three boxes will go into a vertical orientation. And that's going to be pretty easy just by changing the flex basis. So I'm going to go ahead and set up a media query. 
app media screen and max width of 800 pixels. I'm simply going to adjust my middle container inner box. And where before it had a flex basis of 33%, I'm going to change that flex basis to 100%, which means there's not going to be enough room for those three boxes to be side by side. Let me clean up that curly brace just a little bit there. Control S to save, head back to my browser and refresh. Now we can see those middle boxes are side by side. Just to make this a little bit easier to see, I'm just going to go ahead and take my inner boxes in the middle container, background color, hot pink. There we go. Three boxes side by side whenever my container is wider than 800 pixels. But when my container is smaller than 800 pixels, they fill up the space going vertical. Excellent. So that's a little bit about using some flex box, mostly just adjusting the flex basis of elements when we want to create a multi-box layout.